Yes. So we're trying to revive our channel again. Again. The same with this set right here. Revival Collection for premium reprints. Yay. But Banlist says no. We'll be opening them. Uh, this. They, they, yeah. These boxes are from Honor's Ground, so you can check out Honor's Ground on our links below. There's a link to their eBay, also to their Facebook where you can message them regarding getting singles. They ship internationally, they also have bundles and decks. Uh, decks of the cards from this revival selection. Using cards from the previous G sets or the previous uh, collections. So yes, we'll be opening through these four. So supposedly a box contains a, uh, a clan pack. So each clan has a pack inside these boxes. And one more special thing about these boxes is that there's a PR, which is RNG, either Kray or a Zeras Dragon. So going ahead with one box, this is a very late opening of this set, but better late than never I guess. So box upper will be Zoa for Zoo, uh, for focus on Zoa. yeah, so the reprinted Xeroth have the SP uh, borderless text box list thing. The only problem is it's not foiled in any way. So that will be for the PR. Now we'll go through packs. It's currently what five here. That's why you hear an alarm. Plan for Royal Paladin. Huh? Wait, what? Oh. So that signifies the start of the zombie apocalypse here in HG. So this. Yeah. Uh, the Stan, Great Angel, Flogel. Javelin LaRousse, Liu, Alfred, Gansalot Saver in Moscow. So the blaster engine is here without the blaster friend. Bargo, I think. Yeah. So the standing blaster blade engine is over here, especially with this very important press drive. Next will be OTT, so we'll just speed running through the United Sanctuary plants, I guess. And the Witch, no, 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 no. Psychic Bird, uh, Oracle PG, Clone Magus, Sasano, Chikishima. I'm not sure if this is the restricted one or not. I think this is the restricted, uh, restricted one. Amaterasu G Guard. So, not really a fan of the OTT reprint. Because they're not really the ones that are used that much. Next, going to Magalanica, we have Mickey. Mick the Ghost, Ian Family. Grenache, Samurai Spirit. This was never printed in the English, so here he is now. Took you way too long to get here. Cannoneer, Night Storm. Big Obadiah and Negro Lily. So this is a very good set of cards if ever you want to convert or to yeah convert your V premium Grand Blue into a premium Grand Blue since these are one of the most useful cards that you would need. You'll probably just be searching for your strides. If I sound muffled, because I'm still wearing my mask, so... Uh, another member of the zoo. We have Great Nature, Crane Tiger, The Front, Orangutan, Talented Rhinos, Big Belly Grade 3, 
uh, spangled balaurel and symbol monkey symbol monkey never got printed in english so here he is it's a very good set to convert even magnolia into a premium because you mostly need these three cards uh, the big belly grade three and the crane tiger to restand your units balaurel because it just pumps your whole front row might not work that well with magnolia since You'd want your power boost to be behind in your back row. Uh, moving on from that, we have another member of the US, uh, Angel Feather. Sergio Angel, G1 Nashell, G2 Nashell, Aratron, Gavrail, Gavrail Eden, and Surreal. This is basically the units used during. Uh, the mid, the middle of G era, where Gavriel was a very strong deck, so these are the ones you needed, except maybe for the G2 Michelle, but you know, it's there. I might just open one. And just reveal the others. Uh, another Magellanica, we have Echo Force, Dolphin, Countercharge Crit, Tidal Soul, Thavas, uh, Unlocker or Countercharger G Guard, then Alexandros, and we got the SP Ice Barrier Dragon. That's nice. Forgot this had had SPs. And I think the only SPs we have are the G Guards. Yeah, these are the four cards. Or five cards, including the last G guard, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good start to your premium Aqua Force. I'm just be opening. Oh god! Okay. Oh no! Oh god! No. Okay. To the flat, I guess. Another zoo member. New nectar. Restricted Stand, Zilga, Radiolus, Sylvia, Asha, Wilhelmina, and Antero. Uh, this will be what you'll need for your Musketeer deck, I guess. And I think even she could work, <laughs> Radiolus. So this might look like a support for tokens, especially these two cards. That's a start to your Neo Nectar Premium. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we have 17 more clans to go. Fourth member of the US, we have Shadow Paladin, Cursed Eye Raven, Loyal Al, Esras, PBD, the Break Ride version, Dragfall Luard, Morfessa. And then Plotmaker. And as someone with some experience with uh, Shadow Paladin, I think the only card that will not get used in a Lord Premium here is the PBD. Especially since um, Bendy got restricted. Also, not very sure with the Belial. As much as you'd want a crit returning to your deck, the 5k power and the 10k shield is not really that worth even if it nets you a draw when retired via ritual ability. You could just run one, I guess. One, one is enough. Moving on to the next pack will be another second to the last of the gold, or the United Sang people. We have Ketchigal Liberator. I think this is first reprint. The start deck Jirgit. Uh, Glare, which never came to English. It was only a PR card for, J for Japan, I think, and now he's here in English as a part of the Revival Selection. Uh, first Jirgit Stride, the Jirgit Stride with the Guard District, Glorious Raining. So these are very old strides for Jirgit, except uh, Helios. So it's a very Jirgit-focused reprint pack. 
Yeah, I think it will still help since uh, Gold Pal is very strong for V. V Prem. Moving on will be our first from the Dark Zone. So this is Gear Chronicle, so Time Leap Engine, including Grade 3. Uh, you have uh, Heter Around, which became very expensive at one point. A Gear Groovy, still unsure if it's still worth playing him or not. And a Japan exclusive card before, and now it's in English. Very well. You can G guard for free. You just need to have a rear guards that can amount to grade 3 or higher. It's a very good card. Because, of course, your opponent would think that they've already won since you don't have hand cards to guard, and then you have queer lock. And the last of the United Sank for Genesis we have Taro, Valencia, Delgia, Grappa, Minerva. Amaruda and Iris. For Vanguard, very big sad. At least that's just one card that got hit. So we're done with the US United Sank clans. Moving on to Dragon Empire, we have Kigero. And Sparyel, Balog, very good card. VX, another good card. The Destiny, the Turnabout, so this is a very Overlord. Or Kagero, or Overlord focused pack. Dumjid Valor, um, not sure why this is a part. And of course, now Griffin. So, Kagero is a very defensive clan in G. And now they've added turnabout and the defensive other cards. So it's a more offensive focused overlord build. And your defensive options are your other cards, which is your G1 and G Guardians. Next with your Dragon Empire clans, Nubatama. Stand that nobody used. I think. Never really saw use. Miyabi, the start deck. Start deck. Okay, I think so. The very first Shirinui. Shinorine, Mukuro, Mujin Lord. So three of the core strides for Nobatama before. Then of course their G Guard that uses your opponent's greed. Yeah, your opponent's greed one. Rear guard to guard for you. And I'll just speed through the packs now. Yay, kill me. Dark States, Pale Moon, uh, Prankster Girl of Maryland, Purple Trapezes, Flying Periton, the Static Baton Twirler, yeah. Uh, so, first time coming into English. Mask Masquerade, Mask Phantom Harry, Masquerade Master Harry, and Cothard. So, if you're planning to build Harry Premium, especially with your V cards, I think you'll be using these four. Since Periton got restricted, and you'll only need these two and these two G units. Yeah. The Baton Twirler might work for the others. Uh, when place from hand, draw card, hand so Yeah, this could help. Hand fixing in V Prem decks. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I think it's 13 more clans ago, or 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 12 clans. So, Dragon, Dragon Empire, Tachikaze, a worm dolphin looking thing, Sonic Noah, Triple Smildon, Gaia Emperor, G version, Gaia Dynast, Lutani Dogma, and Blockade. I haven't really played much Tachikaze and I only really saw these two in Tachikaze decks. It's Smildons, I think, a good card if you don't have Smildon yet. If 
Spike Bros, the third of four from Dark Zone. Devil Watch, Mech Trainer, Jelly Bean, Rising Nova, Hellheart 8, Agrias, and Terrible Linus. Yeah, so I think this is just a support for GB8, especially these three, including Jelly Beans and Mecha Trainer. Reason is why is because you'll be searching for the Dudley Hill heel trigger for Spike Bros, and this is a G Guard flip. It'll just speed up the way for you to get your GB8, which is basically your final turn, supposed to be. I thought I'd be opening four boxes, but I think it takes way too long, so I'll just open one. It's basically the same contents. The chance for SP is just gonna be different, and the box stopper is gonna be different. Uh, last of the Dark Zone. Uh, Dark Regular, Nightmare Land, Yellow Bolt, Yellow Creep Knight, Dimension Creeper, Shaharot Vampire, Blader Mouse, Band Card, Gastil Daimonas, and Agret Bat Mallet. Yes. Very big restriction right here since it allows you to use the whole pool for Dark Irregulars, choosing which grade trees you'd want to use and without it. It's a big blow to premium dark regs. Really slowed down their deck by a lot. Haven't really got into the clans with the heavy restrictions. So. Uh, Dimension Police, Linka gives guard break. Uh, Enigman Calm returning burst PG. Is it? Yeah, return. And then Dijet, Grand Gallop, Geo5, X Gallop, and Atlantis Dolphin. Biggest takeaway from this set would probably be Dijet. Since the Kaiser is coming back to V Premium, if you ever turn that into a premium deck, you need this to keep returning your grade 3s to the deck. And yeah, should help you ensure your guard breaks. And that was the first. Of the Stargate decks, Stargate clans. LJ, second Stargate. We have a stand I've never seen before. Freeze Ray, very good card. Chaos Breaker Crisis, Lacus Karina, Glue Ball Dragon, Chaos Breaker, and Cosmo Re. So basically, this set is probably to help with turning. Your Starvader decks into premium decks, especially with the upcoming Starvaders in the next premium collections. I mean, clan selections. Five remaining clans. We also, we already got the SP, so Murakumo. Yeah, this is one of the heaviest hit decks in the ban list. So we have Hidden Scroll, Tanba, which is banned, Dual Weapon, Aragat Spark, Yasui Gemma, Shibarako Victor, and Shishi Yuzuki. I'm unsure why Shibarako Victor is here since he just got printed in the last premium collection. But okay. I guess that's fine. As for clans, which would be from Bermuda, Narokami, Mega Colony, and Nova. Yeah. We have Bermuda, Crook Stand, Spica, Troys that got banned, Angie, Revere, Tirua, and Citron. Yeah, I think all of the Bermuda players would still consider this set to be worth, especially if they skipped out on some of the cards. Next will be the last of the Dragon Empires, which is Narukami. Yep, uh, made a mistake with the camera. Didn't really, wasn't really looking at its power level, so it suddenly died. So 
Yeah, that was it for opening for revival collection as i said with the video um check out honors ground i have their links down below you can order them about getting decks especially with the overdress decks they ship internationally they have an ebay store they also put up cards for auction sometimes so keep a lookout so yeah thanks for watching yeah thanks for watching this very very long video Yep, thanks.